So our next step is to tackle this interior. I uh, don't know if you've had a proper look at it from the other videos, but it's pretty grubby, covered in dust. I've put the plastic trim underneath here just temporarily while we're doing the clean, and it is literally two um, Phillips screwdriver, screwdrivers, two Phillips screws, one in on that side and one in on the other, and then it just literally holds it into place, so it's quite easy to fit. Um, I think I'm gonna make a start with the steering wheel. I mean, if you look closely, it is fairly grubby. So I think we'll start with the steering wheel. I'll probably do half with a cleaner. And what I've got is basically just a uh, very mild all-purpose cleaning solution. I have got some leather conditioner, which I'll put on afterwards, but I've used this um, chemical before. It's really, really gentle. So uh, I think it's pH neutral, if I remember correctly, and it will just clean that up the best way possible and it'll get rid of a lot of this shine as well from where the leather should go back to like a nice matte finish um headlining is not too bad it's fairly tidy just a little bit i don't know got a bit of hair a bit of dust on it so we'll just wipe that over with the dry cloth um, and then we'll tackle all the plastics <laughs> Okay, that came up really well. You've just seen on the, uh, the video there, I'll show you the cloth and how much dirt came off it. So when I put the actual uh, leather treatment on, well, this will also like, make everything nice and plush again, but that's a massive improvement. Loads of dirt and it feels less greasy and yeah, like it should be. Right, let's get on with the rest. Right, so that's that seat all cleaned up as well. I think you'll agree, that's come up quite nicely. Brought the black finish back to where it should be, that bit's still drying. Um, but yeah, really happy with that. So when I was doing the driver's seat, 
there was an issue where I was getting red dye transfer so that's why I held the brush up in the in the video and also there's a little bit on here as well you can just kind of see that red transfer now what that basically means is either you've used a chemical which is too harsh and it stripped the color off which is not the case because this is like I don't know it's about what's it 10 mil diluted 10 to 1 that is and that's already a, a mild ph neutral um, all-purpose cleaner what i think has happened is because that window was put through the rain has got in and soaked this seat it's also probably why it's slightly distorted if you see that there it's quite lifted so what i'm going to do is order a leather repair kit now they're quite good value for money and what you can do is you can match the color by just sending them the details of the interior and the companies will basically make up the dye to match it so and then you can fill in like areas like here you put like a special cream on it and it will basically repair that edges of the bolster um so yeah and also the other benefit of me doing that is you get to see me do a, a, a recondition on a seat the only thing i'll have to be careful of is the stitching in the center here and make sure that we don't enter, turn that red um that's not really cleaned up as much as i'd like it to be but i mean i can't quite tell if it should be silver or if it should be white so if any of you know please comment in the description um and yeah we'll go from there so let's carry on with the interior and get the back seats done it's not too windy but i think that's a really nice transformation i think you could do with just one more quick hoover but the mats are back in the seats have got well this one had bird muck on it at one point and i say it's, it's dried out really nicely i just say we just need to do that a bit of a recondition on this that one's not so bad but again i want to address the, the little marks I gave everything a wipe down all the plastic steering wheel looks nice and clean and most importantly george has got his seat in there now the only thing i did notice and i didn't realize until after if you look at that there you go it's got a couple of marks on it so maybe that this has had a child seat in the back similar to george's where it's rubbed so what i'll do is i'll order another one of those headrests but yeah i'm really happy with how that's come up i say like i said before these rear mats they hardly look used so the leather feels nice and soft So yeah, really happy with that. All this cleaned up, the interior, uh, sorry, the interior, the centre console has all come up well. So yeah, I think the only thing really left to do is just the glass. And then this one's pretty much buttoned up on the interior. Um, so yeah, you've probably noticed I bought another car. You've probably, you know, eagle eye viewers of you. Um, that will have already been posted or will be posted on the same day that this goes live uh, on Instagram um, and I will probably start doing a video on that from next week just because I need to get um, I need to get it off the road and onto the drive and swap these two rounds so I'm going to go and park the a bath at a uh, undisclosed location so that's all hidden away um, so we can get started onto the Corsa um, the guy who's going to do the dents on the Abarth is actually away at the moment. He won't be back for a couple of weeks. So that actually ties in quite well. So I think what we'll do, the next episode will be on the Corsa. And I'll kind of do the reveal video on that. Um, and then we'll jump back after that when the dent guy's um, available to get those dents out of the roof and out of the bonnet. Um, and then I've probably only got a couple of last little bits to do on it. Okay, so... MOT day. That does sound good. Let's see if we can get a pass first time on our little bath. Definitely a bumpy ride. That suspension is incredibly stiff I don't think this is the sort of car that I could do a long journey in but I'll tell you what it does not feel fun let's uh, do this so just want to add this little um, insert into the video unfortunately the video of the MOT part for some reason corrupted i don't ask me why all the rest of the videos on the camera are absolutely fine um but initially we had a fail 
um, but it was just like mine. It was just a small cut in one of the tires. So I quickly took that over to um, our tire fitter the following day. He's put a new tire on the near side rear. So we'd already done the offside rear, the driver's side. Um, so they're now two matching brand new Toyos on the rear, which is really good for the whoever becomes the new owner. And while it was there, I got them to do a four wheel alignment just to make sure all that was OK. And that's all green as well. So took it back, got the MOT pass and now it has got MOT until uh, what date is it? Uh, 18th of Jan next year. So let's pick up the video from after the MOT pass where we take it on a little run. all over the place. Wow, this is fun to drive. I mean, that's not even in sport mode. day when I went out to go and get some fuel in the car for the MOT I couldn't get this unlocked because it had frozen in the night it was a really cold morning hopefully that wind's not too bad and you can hear me okay um, so yeah it's frozen and I was like well that's a nightmare so but then when I went online I found something else and I was like well actually that's a better option I'll show you what this option was Now, my justification for buying this is the fact that this little thing here is snapped and the new one has one as well. But the new one, well, it's way better. Look at that. Doesn't that just finish off a whole lot better? And also, I haven't got to worry about the key not being able to open it. But I suppose I do have to worry about the fact that someone could nick it, but we'll take that risk because it looks cool. So we'll get this off and swap it over. And there we go, job done. And um, before you ask me how much it costs, I'll tell you, I've got something else on it as well. So it's being sold as a bundle. So you've got the BMC air filter and you got the cap and that was 80 quid for the both. Now I was figuring these BMC air filters are pretty much lifetime. So I'm trying to move you out the wind a bit. These BMC air filters are pretty much lifetime guaranteed but it doesn't hurt to throw a new one in, does it? I know it's already got a BMC air filter. Well, it says it's got a BMC air filter on the um, sticker in the engine bay. We'll swap that out as well, so it's got a fresh filter in it when it goes for its full service. And then we know it's fully serviced and a fresh filter as well. Right. So, I completely forgot to record an outro for this uh, video and um, the way things have been the last couple of weeks with me and work and just doing stuff at home um, trying to get stuff sorted around the house and spending time with the children I've not really had a chance to to kind of organize myself as well as I should have done so 
it's a quick apology from me so i'm now currently sat in the car in aldi car park because i need to do a quick food run um but i just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel um everyone who's been watching it i noticed that the number of people watching it compared to the number of subscriptions is is a very you know different percentage however if you could just take two seconds pause the video hit the subscribe button if you're watching it on the tv just literally hit pause scroll up and hit subscribe to the channel that would be absolutely fantastic if you like the video hit like and um, for me and george and the rest of the family we look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks very much for watching bye bye Oh.